The Internet. WWW, the World Wide Web. A world of unlimited possibilities. You can shop, book a trip to a sunny beach, watch movies, listen to music, take care of all your banking, and maybe even pick up a date for Saturday night. The Internet has become an indispensable part of our daily lives, both at home and at work. And the rapid development of the Internet is further reinforced by the spectacular surge in the number of Internet users who have a high-speed Internet connection via ADSL or cable. This is resulting in a growing number of people who are continuously online. The Internet has indeed opened up a world of unlimited possibilities, but it has also brought a growing number of threats. Not only the proper use of the Internet is growing, the misuse and abuse of the medium is also growing at an alarming rate. There are countless viruses and worms that use the latest tricks to force their way into your computer. They often get into your PC silently, without you even knowing they're there. But once they're actually in your PC, they can wreak horrific destruction. Your computer is like your home. Unwanted guests can break into your home or your computer at any time and in any way, often without you even seeing or noticing them. Emails, for example, can provide an entryway for viruses to penetrate your computer. You simply receive an email with an attachment that perks your interest. Your curiosity gets the better of you and you open the attachment. And presto, the virus barges in and has unlimited access to every nook and cranny of your PC. These viruses are also experts at spreading and multiplying via all the addresses in your mailbox. But the emails aren't the only way that viruses get into your PC. Actually, every time you visit a website or download free music or video files, you can contaminate your PC with dangerous installations or downloads. But viruses can do much, much more. They are so clever that they wreak all this havoc entirely on their own. They don't need your help. All they need is your PC and the rest takes place automatically. Worms, another group of nasty intruders, can also spread at devastating speed. Worms cleverly use the leaks in your computer programs, so they enter your computer whenever your PC is connected to the internet, even if you aren't at home. You could say that worms act as doormen, but the only problem is that they let in all kinds of unsavoury characters that you would actually like to keep out. And if you could see them, you would be horrified at the riffraff that walks straight through the door. Yeah, like we said, they're ruthless intruders. Of all the intruders, bots are without a doubt the most ruthless. They install themselves on your computer, often with the aid of a virus or worm, and as it were, hypnotize your computer. From this moment on, you are the owner of a zombie PC. Once your PC is infected with a bot, it becomes part of a many-branched network of zombie PCs, all infected with the same bot, a bot net. It's annoying for you and dangerous for others, a breeding ground for criminal offences. From one central point, just one malicious person can order all the bots in the network to carry out the same task. For example, to paralyse a company's network or website. And they send more than 50% of all the spam sent worldwide. The repercussions of an attack by a network are obviously immensely greater, more effective and more damaging than an attack from an individual PC. So if you don't protect your computer against bots, it can unwillingly take part in a collective attack of this nature. And while all of this is taking place, you probably won't notice a thing. Your PC will appear to operate normally, but behind the scenes it will be working overtime to carry out all kinds of undesirable activities. All of this paints a pretty discouraging picture, just when you were feeling so positive about the endless possibilities provided by the internet and your computer. But the good news is that it's not as complicated as it sounds. You can secure your PC by following just four simple rules. Rule 1. Install 